Hi everyone, Dr. Kofi here again and welcome to Tutor Med, where everything medicine is simplified. One of the things which makes learning in medical school easy is mnemonics. And so in today's video, we will look at a mnemonic for the criteria used to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis. To get more simplified videos like this, kindly support the channel by liking and sharing our videos and also subscribing to our channel. And so let's begin with this multiple choice question. The question says, which of the following is least required in the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis? A. Anticyclic citrullinated peptide, abbreviated as anti-CCP. B. Anti-nuclear antibody, abbreviated as ANA. C. Erythrocyte segmentation rate, abbreviated as ESR. And D. C-reactive protein, abbreviated as CRP. E. Rheumatoid factor, abbreviated as RF. Which of the following is least required in the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis? Do you have your answer now? Good. Hold on to it and let's see what literature says. First of all, in a few sentences, let's see what rheumatoid arthritis is. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic, systemic, autoimmune disease that primarily affects joints symmetrically. And characteristically, peripheral joints, for example, the wrist joint, metacarpophalangeal joints, are inflamed, although it may rarely affect the upper cervical spine. And virtually any peripheral joint may be involved except the distal interphalangeal joints, the DIP joints. And this is a picture I got online showing the peripheral joints of a patient specifically the hand, which have been affected by rheumatoid arthritis and notice the symmetrical involvement of the joints of the hand. Now let's see the diagnostic criteria which will help us answer the MCQ. This is the 2020 ACR EULA classification for rheumatoid arthritis. ACR stands for the American College of Rheumatology and EULA stands for European Alliance of Associations for Rheumatology. For this classification or scoring system, we need at least six points in order to make a diagnosis of a definitive or a definite rheumatoid arthritis. But let's see the parameters assessed by this criteria. The first one, you can see joint involvement, whether it's a large joint involved or two to ten large joints, that is not our focus, but I want to say that the first parameter assessed is joint involvement. Then the second parameter, we have serological markers, which are basically two the anti-cyclic citrullinated peptide or the ACCP and then the rheumatoid factor. So these are the two serological markers used in this classification. Then the third we have acute phase reactants and they are the ESR or the erythrocyte segmentation rate and the CRP, the C-reactive protein. And then the last parameter assessed is the duration of the symptoms, meaning the parameters used in this diagnostic criteria are actually one, the number of joints involved or the type of joints involved and so joints involved, then the anti-CCP, the rheumatoid factor, the ESR, CRP, and the duration of the symptoms. And so let's create a mnemonic for these parameters because that is what the MCQ which was asked was looking for. 
and so are mnemonic. Our mnemonic is DJK. DJK. And so D for duration of symptoms. J for the joints involved. C for the C-reactive protein or the CRP. A for the anticyclic citrullinated peptide antibody or the anti-CCP then R for the rheumatoid factor and then E for the ESR and so having this in mind let's revisit our question to look at the answer for that question and by now I know you know the answer to the question which was asked and so our question said which of the following is least required in the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis? The first option was anticyclic citrullinated peptide. Then B was antinuclear antibody. C erythrocyte sedimentation rate. D C reactive peptide. And E rheumatoid factor. And from our DJK mnemonic the answer is option B, meaning when a patient pre presents sorry, with joint symptoms which is symmetrical and I'm considering rheumatoid arthritis, I should look at the joints involved and then I should look at the duration of the symptoms the patient is having. Then for the investigations, although I mean before I get to investigations, I do my examination and then you find out that the hand where the joints are deformed. So you see deformities like swan neck appearance, buten buttonier um, deformity. You see honor deviation of the wrist and then Z, um, I mean, shape of the thumb and all that. But for the investigations, I should be looking out for CRP, ESR, anticyclic citrullinated peptide and the rheumatoid factor. These are what will help me diagnose a patient. It will help me um, know whether a patient has a definite rheumatoid arthritis or not. And so this is basically the mnemonic and then the criteria used to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis. And so thank you for watching this episode of Tutor Med. And as usual, please do not forget to like and share our videos and then subscribe to our channel. More importantly, hit your notification bell so that your notifications will pop up anytime we release simplified videos like these. And so see you in our next video. And until then, bye.